So we have extracted data from the first page of this website. Let us talk about the pagination. So right now we are on the fourth page and you can see here we have one, two, three, four, five and six visible. And then we have dot 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 for the next set of pages. And we also have a next and previous links. So previous one is before one and the next one is in the end. If I click on next, you see here the fifth one becomes active, but now we have seventh one also visible. And it is not the case that first one disappears. So the number of buttons does not remain constant. Earlier we had two buttons for previous and next and then we have from one to six and then one for dot dot dot. But now we have one button extra. So we cannot rely on a logic where we give the index number for the last element when we want to click on the next button. So let us see what would be our approach in this particular case. Let us go to inspector and find the properties for these elements to navigate. So I put the inspector here on the entire unordered list. I get to know that it has multiple list items with same classes. So you can see the index numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. We have also observed that for fifth one we have a different class name and on the browser itself it appears to be blue. So that means the active one has a different class name and also for the dot 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 we have a different class name. If we check for the last one which is the next button it also has the same class which we have for the other page buttons. So we'll go to the console window again and let's say if I write document dot get elements by class name and I give the class name for that unordered list I mean the parent which has all the list items under it and if I give let's say the index 0 so I get that unordered list which has all the elements. Now if I write get elements by tag name and I specifically say that I only need the list elements under that. So I have all the list items okay and the count is 10. Now we are not sure about this count because we have observed that this count changes but what remains constant is that the last button would always be at the last position only. So to click on the next button it is not a good practice that you hard code the index number as 10 but you can always use the length of these list items. Okay, because always you are going to click on the next button, whether that button is present at fifth position, tenth position, or maybe some other position. So length would be giving us accurate results. Now, before I write a step to click on the next button, let us put a while loop so that we can iterate through all the pages. So I take a variable pg and I initialize it to one initially, and I put a loop here, while loop. So while pg is less than thousand or you can give any number which you know is sufficient to cover all the pages. So I am assuming that the page numbers would be less than thousand only. So I am giving just a random number here. Okay and I end this while loop with w end. Now I am not increasing this page number with each iteration but I will be just exiting from this for loop based on a condition. That condition I will be specifying later. So first of all I will be trying to click on that next button. So set pg bar, okay. So ht dot get elements by class name, and then we can give the class name of that unordered list first of all to reach to that unordered list. So this is the class name for that parent, and then I give the index as zero, and then we need to reach to the list items under that. So I use dot get elements by tag name, and I give the tag name as li, okay. So in pg bar I have all the list items, fine. So we need the last element. So the last element can be fetched using the length of this pg bar or the number of items that we have. Now since the element index starts with 0 and let's say we have 10 elements, we need to click on the last one which is at 9th index. So we need to subtract 1 from the length. Okay. So pg bar and in brackets pg bar dot length minus 1 will be actually the last element in that list. That is actually the next button that we want to click. And then if we write dot click, we will be clicking on that particular button. Now assume that we have extracted data from all the pages. What will happen next is on the last page, this button won't exist and this statement would give us error. Okay. So we can write a logic here that if we receive an error and if that error dot number is not equal to zero, in that case, we want to move out of this loop. We don't want to do further extraction. So I just put the page number as 1001. And when it goes to next iteration, it will compare 1001 with 1000 and it won't execute that part again. So that is the logic that I've used here and it would be indefinitely 
going to extract all the pages. We have not given the page count here. And for the other cases where we do not get any error, we need to add this else block and we need to say that if it clicks on the next button, it should wait for page to load. So I put the same statements do until I ready state and then I ABG status false and do events and I additionally add a delay of 5 seconds so that if certain elements load even after the page load get loaded and I do not face any kind of issue. So now we are done with the changes and it is time to run the program and see it has started the extraction it has opened the page. Now since we have given the starting URL of page 4 so it has started extraction from page 4 and it has moved to the next page and if I scroll down you will see that it has reached to fifth page and it has extracted data from fifth as well. So it keeps on moving and you will be soon seeing all the data captured in your excel file. So I hope now you are pretty much comfortable with doing automation of any sort of web based application using excel VBA and if this course was useful for you do not forget to give five star rating and you can also search more content on my youtube channel which is extreme automation by Kamal Gether. I will see you soon with more such interesting subjects.